In this project, we will create a pan tilt assembly control. This is a handy accessory that can be included on your car projects or robots and can be used to mount a camera. The direction that the camera is pointing in can be adjusted and fully controlled with the pan tilt swivel mounting. We will be using a Wii nunchuck to control our pan tilt assembly in conjunction with two servos and a pan tilt frame. This is a really cool project and will bring together the concepts we learned in our previous two lessons. Let's get going. I can't wait. Now for the objectives. By successfully completing this project, we will have mastered the following items. You will understand how the Wii nunchuck can be used in conjunction with servos to control our pan tilt assembly. You will get a good grasp on how positional readings taken from our nunchuck can be used to control the servo motors. If you are ready to begin, let's get this project started. Here are the parts we will need. An Arduino Uno, a USB cable, a breadboard, two mini servos, a Wii nunchuck, the Arduino nunchuck adapter, the pan tilt swivel assembly, and connecting wires. Let's take a look at the circuit diagram. To make it easier to wire up the diagram, I've created a few cheat sheets on the right of the circuit diagram. For our nunchuck, we have seen this wiring before, uh, it remains the same. And for our servos, servo 1, the signal pin is connected to pin 9 on the Arduino, and for servo 2, the signal pin is connected to pin 10 on the Arduino. The ground and power pins would be connected to ground and 5 volts respectively. Okay, let's go ahead and wire up our circuit for our pan tilt assembly with our nunchuck. So we'll wire up the connections for the nunchuck first. Let's connect the ground on the Arduino to the ground rail on the breadboard. Next, we'll also connect the 5 volts on the Arduino to the 5 volt rail. For the nunchuck, we have the negative pin going to ground. The positive pin, remember, doesn't go to 5 volts, but it goes to the 3.3 volts pin. So we'll make that connection here. The data pin goes to pin A4 on the Arduino. And the clock pin from our nunchuck adapter goes to pin E5 when you're doing it. Right, so that completes the wiring for our nunchuck. Next for the servos, the bottom servo is going to be our servo 1 and that's going to be doing the panning. So for our servo 1 we have the brown wire is our ground. The middle wire, or the red one, is our 5 volts. So that's going to go to 5 volts. And the signal wire is going to go to pin 9 on the Arduino. So we'll connect that. For our top servo, which is the actual uh, tilt, that is going to be our servo 2 on our circuit diagram. So again, the ground pin is going to connect to ground. The middle pin is going to connect to 5 volts. And the signal pin 
is going to connect to pin 10 on the Arduino. All right, so that completes our wiring. Now I'm going to upload the code for our pan tilt uh, servo with the nunchuck. All right, so we'll wait till that's complete. Okay, it's done. One thing we'll want to do is you'd want to set um, the servo up to initially the uh, to zero out the position of the servo. So right now, when it initially starts up, it should be in the um, you know the zero position, uh, meaning the center. So I'm going to disconnect this actually and put this. To face straight forward right about at the center I want to make it as kind of straight as as as, fast as I can about and the top looks okay so you just want to zero it out make make sure that the the bottom is, is, is facing uh, straight forward and the top is about at the center so now if I take my um, my nunchuck and as you can see, if I tilt it left and right, that's the actual uh, panning. And then the top, if I push it down and up, that's the pan tilt. So that's pretty cool. I am controlling, you know, using the Wii nunchuck. I have a pan tilt servo when I could control, if I had a camera that was attached to the top here, maybe this was on a uh, remote control car, or a robot I would be able to control the direction uh, you know that the camera was facing by using this sort of pan tilt mechanism so pretty cool so we have used the Wii nunchuck and we are using that to actually control this uh, pan tilt swivel and we're doing uh, this is the actual panning motion left and right and the top is the tilt Pretty cool project, I would say, guys. I'm sure this will come in handy in lots of your projects. So let's take a look at the code for our pan tilt servo uh, assembly with our nunchuck. So initially at the beginning, we have three libraries that we include, the servo library, the wire library, and the Arduino nunchuck library. Next, we define the board rate and we create our servo objects. Uh, so we have uh, uh, my servo one and my servo two. My servo one will be the uh, panning servo, and the my servo two will be the actual tilting servo. Next, we create the uh, Arduino nunchuck object. So we instantiate that object, uh, calling the constructor. And we call that object nunchuck and we initially uh, have our position 1 as being 90 and position 2 as being 90 that means that when we first start off our servos would be uh, at the center so remember when you first wire it up and uh, this program is first uploaded you'd want to adjust your servos uh, in the pan tilt brackets to make sure that they're facing the, the panning one is facing straight forward at 90 degrees and the tilt is actually at 90 degrees uh, looking straight ahead. Next in the setup we attach the pins to our servo objects so uh, servo 1 was the signal pin was pin 9 and servo 2 the signal pin was pin 10. Um, we initialize our nunchuck so we call nunchuck.init and uh, next we have uh, we center the servos, so that's where we, we do a my servo one that right position one, and that's initially 90 degrees, and the servo two that right position two that's 90 degrees, and that should center everything up for us. In our loop function, basically we are getting the position, um, and we do a mapping here for uh, you know, for the actual panning. So we call the map function passing in nunchuck that analog x. That's going to give us the x position of our uh, nunchuck joystick, and we are mapping that 
um, from it goes from 212 to 24 and we're mapping that to a value between 0 and 180 0 uh, to 180 being the you know the maximum range of our um, in degrees of our servo so um, when the joystick is all the way to the left that's going to be 212 and when it's all the way to the right that's going to be 24 so we're mapping that to an equivalent value in the range of 0 to 180 Similarly, for our uh, actual tilting, which is our servo 2, we pass in the nunchuck that analog Y, that's going to give us the Y position of the joystick, and that ranges from about uh, 38 to 220 when we look at the actual raw values, and we wanna, again, we want to map that between 0 and 180. So when we calculate those positions uh, in degrees based on the joystick position, we then do a right of position 1 to servo 1 and a right of position 2 to servo 2 with a short delay and that causes the servos to move. So now the servos would be coordinated depending on how we move our joystick. I think this is pretty cool guys. Just a really short amount of code but it accomplishes quite a lot. And of course we loop over in our loop function and we continuously read the nunchuck and update the servos accordingly. Really great program, short and concise, but very powerful. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. To summarize, in this project, you learn how to control two servos on a pan tilt swivel assembly using positional readings taken from a Wii nunchuck. You were also introduced to the Arduino nunchuck adapter, which can be used to interface with the Wii nunchuck to help us communicate with the nunchuck using our Arduino. It was a great project and we learned a lot of new concepts. This is a handy assembly that could be included in your robots or car projects and can be used to mount and control a camera. Let's check out our next project.